Ahmedabad is the largest city and former capital of Gujarat. It is the administrative headquarters of the Ahmedabad district and the seat of the Gujarat High Court, with a population of more than 6.3 million and an extended population of 7.2 million. It is the sixth largest city and seventh largest metropolitan area of India. Ahmedabad is located on the banks of the Sabarmati River, 30 kilometers from the state capital Gandhinagar. Ahmedabad has emerged as an important economic and industrial hub in India. It is the second largest producer of cotton in India, and its stock exchange is the country's second oldest. Cricket is a popular sport in Ahmedabad, which houses the 54,000-seat Sadar Patel Stadium. The effects of liberalization of the Indian economy have energized the city's economy towards tertiary sector activities like commerce, communication and construction. Ahmedabad's increasing population has resulted in an increase in the construction and housing industries resulting in recent development of skyscrapers. In 2010, it was ranked third in Forbes's list of fastest-growing cities of the decade. In 2012, the Times of India chose Ahmedabad as the best city to live in in India. As of 2014, Ahmedabad's estimated gross domestic product was $119 billion. History the area around Ahmedabad has been inhabited since the 11th century, when it was known as Ashaval. At that time, Karandev I, the Solanki ruler of Anilwara, waged a successful war against the Bill King of Ashaval, and established a city called Karnavati on the banks of the Sabarmati. Solanki rule lasted until the 13th century, when Gujarat came under the control of the Vagila dynasty of Dhoka. Gujarat subsequently came under the control of the Delhi Sultanate in the 14th century. However, by the earlier 15th century, the local governor Zafar Khan Muzaffar established his independence from the Delhi Sultanate and crowned himself Sultan of Gujarat as Muzaffar Shah, I, thereby founding the Muzaffarid dynasty. This area finally came under the control of his grandson Sultan Ahmed Shah in 1411 AD, who while at the banks of Sabarmati liked the forested area for a new capital city and laid the foundation of a new walled city near Karnavati and named it Ahmedabad after the four saints in the area by the name Ahmed. According to other sources, he named it after himself. It is said that the birthday of Ahmedabad city is February 26, 1412. In 1487, Mahmud Bagada, the grandson of Ahmed Shah, fortified the city with an outer wall 10 kilometers in circumference and consisting of 12 gates, 189 bastions and over 6,000 battlements. In 1535 Humayun briefly occupied Ahmedabad after capturing Champana when the ruler of Gujarat, Bahadur Shah, fled to Diu. Ahmedabad was then reoccupied by the Muzaffarid dynasty until 1573 when Gujarat was conquered by the Mughal Emperor Akbar. During the Mughal reign, Ahmedabad became one of the empire's thriving centers of trade, mainly in textiles, which were exported as far as Europe. The Mughal ruler Shah Jahan spent the prime of his life in the city, sponsoring the construction of the Moti Shahi Mahal in Shahibar. The Deccan famine of 1630-32 affected the city, as did famines in 1650 and 1686. Ahmedabad remained the provincial headquarters of the Mughals until 1758, when they surrendered the city to the Marathas. During the period of Maratha Empire governance, the city became the center of a conflict between two Maratha clans, the Peshwa of Pune and the Gakwade of Baroda. In 1780, during the First Anglo-Maratha War, a British force under James Hartley stormed and captured Ahmedabad but it was handed back to the Marathas at the end of the war. The British East India Company took over the city in 1818 during the Third Anglo-Maratha War. A military contunement was established in 1824 and a municipal government in 1858. 
incorporated into the Bombay Presidency during British rule, Ahmedabad became one of the most important cities in the Gujarat region. In 1864, a railway link between Ahmedabad and Mumbai was established by the Bombay, Baroda, and Central India Railway, enabling traffic in trade between northern and southern India via the city. Over time, the city established itself as the home of a developing textile industry, which earned it the nickname Manchester of the East. The Indian independence movement developed roots in the city when Mahatma Gandhi established two ashrams, the Kokrab Ashram near Paldi in 1915 and the Satyagraha Ashram on the banks of the Sabarmati in 1917 which would become centres of nationalist activities. During the mass protests against the Rolat Act in 1919, textile workers burned down 51 government buildings across the city in protest at a British attempt to extend wartime regulations after the First World War. In the 1920s, textile workers and teachers went on strike, demanding civil rights and better pay and working conditions. In 1930, Gandhi initiated the Salt Satyagraha from Ahmedabad by embarking from his ashram on the Dandi Salt March. The city's administration and economic institutions were rendered inoperative in the early 1930s by the large numbers of people who took to the streets in peaceful protests, and again in 1942 during the Quit India movement. Following independence and the partition of India in 1947, the city was scarred by the intense communal violence that broke out between Hindus and Muslims in 1947. Ahmedabad was the focus for settlement by Hindu migrants from Pakistan, who expanded the city's population and transformed its demographics and economy. By 1960, Ahmedabad had become a metropolis with a population of slightly under half a million people, with classical and colonial European-style buildings lining the city's thoroughfares. It was chosen as the capital of Gujarat state after the partition of the state of Bombay on 1 May 1960. During this period, a large number of educational and research institutions were founded in the city, making it a center for higher education, science and technology. Ahmedabad's economic base became more diverse with the establishment of heavy and chemical industry during the same period. Many countries sought to emulate India's economic planning strategy and one of them, South Korea, copied the city's second five-year plan. In the late 1970s, the capital shifted to the newly built, well-planned city of Gandhinagar. This marked the start of a long period of decline in the city, marked by a lack of development. The 1974 Navniaman agitation, a protest against a 20% hike in the hostel food fees at the LD College of Engineering in Ahmedabad, snowballed into a movement to remove Chimangbhai Patel, then Chief Minister of Gujarat. In the 1980s, a reservation policy was introduced in the country, which led to anti-reservation protests in 1981 and 1985. The protests witnessed violent clashes between people belonging to various castes. The city suffered some of the impact of the 2001 Gujarat earthquake. Up to 50 multi-story buildings collapsed, killing 752 people and causing much damage. The following year, a three-day period of violence between Hindus and Muslims in the western Indian state of Gujarat, known as the 2002 Gujarat riots, spread to Ahmedabad. Refugee camps were set up around the city. The 2008 Ahmedabad bombings, a series of 17 bomb blasts, killed and injured several people. Militant group Hakat al-Jihad claimed responsibility for the attacks. Geography. Ahmedabad lies at 23 degrees 02 N 72 degrees 35 E 23.03 degrees north 72.58 degrees east 23.03 72.58 in western India at 53 meters above sea level on the banks of the Sabarmati River in north central Gujarat. It covers an area of 464 square kilometers.
The Sabah Marti frequently dried up in the summer, leaving only a small stream of water, and the city is in a sandy and dry area. However, with the execution of the Sabah Marti Riverfront project and embankment, the waters from the Narmada River have been diverted to the Sabah Marti to keep the river flowing throughout the year, thereby eliminating Ahmedabad's water problems. The steady expansion of the Ran of Kutch threatened to increase desertification around the city area and much of the state. However, the Narmada Canal network is expected to alleviate this problem. Except for the small hills of Thalchajod Patekra, the city is almost flat. Three lakes lie within the city's limits, Kankaria, Vastrapur and Chandola. Kankaria, in the neighborhood of Maninagar, is an artificial lake developed by the Sultan of Delhi, Qutbud in 1451. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, the town falls under seismic zone 3, in a scale of 2 to 5. Ahmedabad is divided by the Sabah Marti into two physically distinct eastern and western regions. The eastern bank of the river houses the old city, which includes the central town of Badra. This part of Ahmedabad is characterized by packed bazaars, the pole system of closely clustered buildings, and numerous places of worship. It houses the main railway station, the main post office, and some buildings of the Muzaffarid and British eras. The colonial period saw the expansion of the city to the western side of Sabah Marti. Facilitated by the construction of Ellis Bridge in 1875 and later the relatively modern Nehru Bridge, the western part of the city houses educational institutions, modern buildings, residential areas, shopping malls, multiplexes and new business districts centered around roads such as Ashram Road, G Road and Sarkij Gandhinagar Highway. Climate Ahmedabad has a hot, semi-arid climate, with marginally less rain than required for a tropical savanna climate. There are three main seasons, summer, monsoon and winter. Aside from the monsoon season, the climate is extremely dry. The weather is hot from March to June. The average summer maximum is 41 degrees Celsius, and the average minimum is 27 degrees Celsius. From November to February, the average maximum temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the average minimum is 15 degrees Celsius, and the climate is extremely dry. Cold northerly winds are responsible for a mild chill in January. The southwest monsoon brings a humid climate from mid-June to mid-September. The average annual rainfall is about 800 mm. But infrequent heavy torrential rains cause local rivers to flood and it is not uncommon for droughts to occur when the monsoon does not extend as far west as usual. The highest temperature recorded is 48.5 degrees Celsius, following a heat wave in May 2010, reaching 46.8 degrees Celsius, which claimed hundreds of lives. The Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation in partnership with an international coalition of health and academic groups and with support from the Climate and Development Knowledge Network developed the Ahmedabad Heat Action Plan, aimed at increasing awareness, sharing information and coordinating responses to reduce the health effects of heat on vulnerable populations. The action plan is the first comprehensive plan in Asia to address the threat of adverse heat on health. It also focuses on community participation, building public awareness of the risks of extreme heat, training medical and community workers to respond to and help prevent heat-related illnesses, and coordinating an interagency emergency response effort when heat waves hit. Cityscape Early in Ahmedabad's history, under Ahmed Shah, builders fused Hindu craftsmanship with Persian architecture, giving rise to the Indo-Saracenic style. Many mosques in the city were built in this fashion. Sidi Syed Mosque was built in the last year of the Sultanate of Gujarat. It is entirely arched and has ten stone latticework windows or jali on the side and rear arches. Private mansions or haveli from this era have carvings, 
Apal is a typical housing cluster of old Ahmedabad. After independence, modern buildings appeared in Ahmedabad. Architects given commissions in the city included Louis Khan, who designed the IIMA, Le Corbusier, who designed the Shodan and Sarabhai villas the Sanska Kendra and the Mill Owners Association building, and Frank Lloyd Wright, who designed the administrative building of Calico Mills and the Calico Dome. B.V. Doshi came to the city from Paris to supervise Le Corbusier's works and later set up to the School of Architecture. His local works include Sangad Amdavad Nigafar and the School of Architecture. Charles Correa, who became a partner of Doshi's, designed the Gandhi Ashram and Akia Kamvinda, and the Indian Textile Industries Research Association. Christopher Charles Benninger's first work, The Alliance Française, is located in the Ellis Bridge area. Anan Raj designed major additions to Louis Kahn's IIMA campus, namely the Ravi Mathai Auditorium and KLMD. Some of the most visited gardens in the city include Law Garden, Victoria Garden and Balvatica. Law Garden was named after the College of Law situated close to it. Victoria Garden is located at the southern edge of the Badra Fort and contains a statue of Queen Victoria. Balvatica is a children's park situated on the grounds of Kankaria Lake and also houses an amusement park. Other gardens in the city include Paramal Garden, Usman Pura Garden, Pralad Nagar Garden and Lal Darwaja Garden. Ahmedabad's Kamla Nehru Zoological Park houses a number of endangered species including flamingos, caracals, Asiatic wolves and Chinkara. The Kankaria Lake, built in 1451 AD, is one of the biggest lakes in Ahmedabad. In earlier days, it was known by the name Kutub Hoj or Howie Kutub. Vast Rapur Lake is located in the western part of Ahmedabad. Lal Bihada Shastri Lake in Barpunagar is almost 136,000 square meters. In 2010, another 34 lakes were planned in and around Ahmedabad of which five lakes will be developed by AMC, the other 29 will be developed by the Ahmedabad Urban Development Authority. Chandola Lake covers an area of 1,200 hectares. It is home for cormorants, painted storks and spoonbills. During the evening time, many people visit this place and take a leisurely stroll. There is a recently developed Naroda Lake and the world's largest collection of antique cars in Kathwada at Ib Farm. AMC has also developed the Sabarmati Riverfront. Civic Administration Ahmedabad is the administrative headquarters of Ahmedabad District, administered by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation. The AMC was established in July 1950 under the Bombay Provincial Corporation Act of 1949. The AMC Commissioner is an Indian Administrative Service Officer appointed by the state government who reserves the administrative executive powers. Whereas the corporation is headed by the mayor, the city residents elect the 192 municipal councillors by popular vote, and the elected councillors select the deputy mayor and mayor of the city. The administrative responsibilities of the AMC are water and sewage services, primary education, health services, fire services, public transport and the city's infrastructure. AMC was ranked 9th out of 21 cities for the best governance and administrative practices in India in 2014. It scored 3.4 out of 10 compared to the national average of 3.3. The city is divided into five zones constituting 64 wards. Ahmedabad district is divided into a number of talukas including Ahmedabad Taluka Bawala, Doka, Dunduka, Detroj, Sanand, Bavla, Runpur, Mandal, Viramgam and Daskroy. The city's urban and suburban areas are administered by the Ahmedabad Urban Development Authority. The city is represented by two elected members of parliament in the Lok Sabha and 21 members of the Legislative Assembly at the Gujarat Vidhan Sabha. The Gujarat High Court is located in the Ahmedabad, making the city the judicial capital of Gujarat. Law enforcement in public safety is maintained by the Ahmedabad City Police.
headed by the police commissioner, an Indian police service officer. Health services are primarily provided at Ahmedabad Civil Hospital, the largest civil hospital in Asia. Ahmedabad is one of the few cities in India where the power sector is privatized. Electricity in the city is generated and distributed by Torrent Power Limited, owned and operated by the Ahmedabad Electricity Company, which was previously a state-run corporation. Economy The gross domestic products of Ahmedabad was estimated at $119 billion in 2011. The RBI ranked Ahmedabad as the seventh largest deposit center and seventh largest credit center nationwide as of June 2012. In the 19th century, the textile and garments industry received strong capital investment. On 30 May 1861 Ranch Hodlal Chotalal founded the first Indian textile mill, the Ahmedabad Spinning and Weaving Company Limited, followed by the establishment of a series of textile mills such as the Calico Mills, Bagitcha Mills and Arvind Mills. By 1905 there were about 33 textile mills in the city. The textile industry further expanded rapidly during the First World War, and benefited from the influence of Mahatma Gandhi's Swadeshi movement, which promoted the purchase of Indian-made goods. Ahmedabad was known as the Manchester of the East for its textile industry. The city is the largest supplier of denim and one of the largest exporters of gemstones and jewelry in India. The automobile industry is also important to the city. After Tata's nano project, Ford and Suzuki are planning to establish plants near Ahmedabad while the groundbreaking ceremony for Persia has already been performed. The Ahmedabad Stock Exchange, located in the Ambavadi area of the city, is India's second oldest stock exchange. Two of the biggest pharmaceutical companies of India, Zydus Cadillar and Torrent Pharmaceuticals, are based in the city. The Nirma Group of Industries, which runs a large number of detergent and chemical industrial units, has its corporate headquarters in the city. The city also houses the corporate headquarters of the Adani Group, a multinational trading and infrastructure development company. The Sadar Sarovar project of dams and canals has improved the supply of potable water and electricity for the city. The information technology industry has developed significantly in Ahmedabad, with companies such as Tata Consultancy Services opening offices in the city. India's leading cybersecurity firm CyberOM also has its R&D center located in Ahmedabad. A NASSCOM survey in 2002 on the Super 9 Indian destinations for IT-enabled services ranked Ahmedabad fifth among the top nine most competitive cities in the country. The city's educational and industrial institutions have attracted students and young skilled workers from the rest of India. Ahmedabad houses other major Indian corporates such as Rasna, WAGH, Bakri, Nirma, Kadala Pharmaceuticals, Intas Pharmaceuticals and Paris Pharmaceuticals. Ahmedabad is the second largest cotton textile center in India after Mumbai and the largest in Gujarat. Many cotton manufacturing units are currently running in and around Ahmedabad. Textiles are one of the major industries of the city. Gujarat Industrial Development Corporation has acquired land in San and Taluka of Ahmedabad to set up three new industrial estates.